Well, the review is the latest, the Angry Mechan Despair Reviewer, even though I only review it in Zero. And after I've reviewed it in Zero, I'll probably not review another manga ever again. But, uh, well, well, once and ever, and ever. Either way, last, cha last chapter, which has been rebooted in this universe since uh, everything else been doing here. So, with that, the gang begins to talk to her and reveals everything about the fact that they came from a different universe. And also, um, uh, and now they're gonna get the get together. Still being loyal to the Demon King, which can kneel, kneels before Shiki and says that we give him a very life. However, Shiki says that in this life, you must make your own life priority. The spa Edens is there as well, and even which is swimming about it. And that, uh, so which asks one very important question about Rebecca is that, that uh, what about your abilities? So, well, the ether gear uh, lines, I mean, the ether lines goes in, but uh, as she, no, Rebecca said, she's not supposed to have cat labor. So, her ether gets out of control and she fires up into the sky ceiling. A very big callback to when she actually fired an ether blast from her hands <laughs> and uh, almost got sucked up in the vacuum of space. And an another odd twist of fate, or actually not, and this is actually a very good confirmation. Now that Shiki has been connected from the other universes into this universe zero, it is actually seems that all the abilities from that uh, universe is actually connected back to him. Because yes, he now has Warpol. So, and he was practicing power when he heard something. So Rebecca lands on Shiki, well, in her naked, with her ass of course in his face. <laughs> Traditional things, and I like it. And which gives once again a sexy bad massages to Rebecca, which makes her very emotional. So, uh, which asks how she died in the previous universe, and Rebecca says that she died protecting the ship and saving them, which which called a noble death. So, uh, so, uh, but Rebecca do not want her to lose her life. Uh, so, uh, but also talks uh, still about the mind and massages. So after that they get to Norma, who actually it turns out in this universe also still has been eaten by the chronophage, never for 50 years ago, where they find Weiss in an exact same pages as before with a gun and a bag. But in this universe it actually turns out that his mother is alive, and with the and although uh, Ran the wife seems to have a little bit more problems <laughs> with her. <laughs> well, I mean, in the old universe, he was a delinquent, lashed out because he lost his mother at a young age. In this one, he seems a little bit more, well, delinquent maybe because he feels like his mother is his mother. So, uh, while it's not exactly known why, uh, why uh, the why he has that uh, sorry not bag a suitcase who still contains Pino by the way this time not broken legs like before but she does have her ether cube with her one wonders exactly how she ended up there is why still connected to uh, the criminals in this situation uh, I don't really know so but once Rebe Shiki says we were we were your friends, suddenly the memories of the old universe jumps back into Wise and Pino, proving that once uh, proving once and for all that yes that while it's still not exactly confirmed for me who triggers the memories of the old universe back into the zero counterparts, it does confirm though that all of the main characters except for the androids. Or maybe yes, which was, uh, or maybe yes, which because she technically did die before they actually did head out to uh, Universe Zero. I'm not exactly sure. Either way, this seems to confirm that everyone can get their memories back, which is good. But it, uh, but it still does not uh, answer the question though. If many has a more happy life in this situation, how will their abilities work in that new world? 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Why some Pino gets their memories back? They remember everything. And now that Wise remembers the fact that in his old universe his mom died, he runs up to his mother and hugs her, saying that he is glad he is alive. And Oshia says, I won't die, I wouldn't rest until you become a fully fledged adult. <laughs> in the old universe, her life was stolen by Draken's soul sucking power. But in this universe, that does not seem to have been the case. So, why does it seem like that hasn't been the case? Is Draken even in this universe? Or has even Draken changed his opinion? It is also not revealed on why Wise even had that, uh, well, you know, bag to begin with. But now that he got his old memories back, it's very likely that he got his Machina Maker abilities with it. He probably didn't have that in this universe, though, because he said he got it from a robot he built when he was lonely. So, well... I don't know. I don't really know. It is not exactly also confirmed on why Pino was in this, but as Rebecca said in the last chapter, history has does in a sort of way repeat itself, but it still is some noticeable changes. And so far so good. Everyone does seem to have a happy memory, and uh, we are going through these arcs speedways of the very first saga. But this time we are wrapping it up very fairly quickly. So give me your thoughts if you have any. Because so far I'm liking the fact that everyone is getting their memories back.